Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for keeping us in 31 days in the month of March. Thank you for wisdom, for strength, for strategy. Thank you for preservation of life. Father, we give you praise in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord give you wisdom, strategy, and insight as we together enter April and the second quarter of 2023. In Jesus' wonderful name. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, several things the Lord showed me. He showed me, first of all, the, the four winds of the earth, the north, the south, the east, and the wind. And the winds are in two directions. They're for two purposes. One is to hasten us towards the assignment that he has for us on earth. And so we need to flow. We need to be blown by the Spirit. We need to be released by the Spirit and go in the direction that he has for us. But also, <clears throat> the Lord is saying that we need to have the heart of wisdom, the heart of understanding, the heart of insight into what he's doing in our season in our life, season of life right now the bible speaks of the sons of Issachar. they understood the times and they knew what israel ought to do and because of that understanding they were able to discern a wind that is a wind of favor to move us forward or a wind of adversity that is trying to distract us from the assignment of God on our lives. So receive wisdom in Jesus' name. Receive grace to understand the season you are in, knowing what he's doing with you now so that when something comes, not every opportunity you just jump at, but you'll be able to seize the opportunities that are yours because much change is coming in April in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Then I, I saw a runner. I saw a runner, and in uh, Bible days, that's how they would spread news. They, they would run. And I saw that you need to be interceding properly in the month of April because I saw a runner coming, and the runner was carrying bad news. But the runner that was carrying bad news was intercepted by angels who were sent on assignment because somebody had prayed and said, no bad news in Jesus' name. And so pray together with me. No bad news in April in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God. April is a month of good news. Only heralds of good news will come my way. So no bad news concerning my family, concerning my health, concerning my finances, concerning anything to do with me. I say no to bad news in Jesus' name, but we open the door to good news in Jesus' wonderful name. You know, there's something about intercession in 2023. And I want to encourage you, if you are not part of an intercessory network, then I want you to filter in, I want you to feed into an intercessory network because intercession and prayer are so important in 2023. If you're part of a local church that has a strong intercessory group, then by all means, you know, go, go ahead with that. But when I talk of strong intercession, I mean about different varied types of prayer, praying in the spirit, warring in the spirit, worshiping in the spirit. Yet there needs to be an aggression. Without a certain aggression in the realm of the spirit, certain things will come your way and you think, oh, it was, oh, Sarah, Sarah, it was the will of God. No, it was because you were not interceding and standing at the gates. So I want to encourage you. And I want to also say to you, look, uh, we, we pray from Tuesday to Friday, 12 noon every day for about 15 minutes, where we intercede effectively and we war effectively. So details of our meetings are in the description. You know, by all means, you're welcome to join us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for grace to intercede in Jesus' name. You know, I, I want to just say again, because I, I, I hear someone say, but we've, I've been doing fine without, without that level of intercession. And I like to just pray quietly. Yeah, you've been doing fine up until now. But times and seasons change. And this is a time and a season where the scripture says men of violent take take the kingdom by force. There needs to be an aggression in the realm of, it's not a physical aggression, but it's a spiritual boldness and aggression that you need to walk in if you are to fulfill destiny in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Then thirdly, I saw an orange being peeled and I was looking, then I saw a mango being peeled and fruit. There was a new level of fruitfulness that God has preserved for you for the month of April, both in terms of fruit of the spirit and fruit of your life, fruit of your walk with God. So Father God, I thank you for a greater fruit of love, a greater dimension of manifestation of joy, of peace, of kindness, of faithfulness, of perseverance, of self-control in Jesus' wonderful name. I thank you for a greater fruit, for a season of fruitfulness, Father God, also for the seeds that your sons and your daughters have sown in Jesus' name. <clears throat> then I saw the fourth thing the Lord showed me. He showed me a sword fight. 
but nobody was getting harmed with the swords it was it was a fencing and you know with the fencing there's a thrust and then you come back there's a thrust and you come back and the aim of it is to guard territory and the lord said that i should say to somebody keep your turf hold on to the territory that god has given you don't don't be swayed by a sense of false humility because otherwise they will take away what you have labored for they will take away what you have worked for they will take away that which is yours as a father as a mother as a student as a as a, as a teacher whatever role it is that you have god has given you a jurisdiction and you need to have your sword because it's not the enemy that's going to come the friends so-called friends and family people are going to try even even church people will try and take that which is yours and if you don't understand spiritual warfare if you don't understand um, your, your authority in christ if you don't understand there's a need for you to stand up don't allow people to take away and to come into your jurisdiction it is a jurisdiction god has given you you need to guard it isaiah 54 says strengthen your care strengthen your courts lengthen your cords, strengthen your stakes so god wants you to expand but even more so than he wants you to expand he wants you to keep that which is yours and so there's going to be in april there may be for many there may be a, a, an exchange of of, of of stern words that no this is mine this is my child. This is my territory. This is my whatever it is. God, that is, it's not pride, but it's keeping, you're not meant to be a doormat. Keep what God has given to you. He's given it to you. Keep it. And that's where I saw the, 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 the joystick. Nobody got hurt, but somebody took their stand and said, no, this is my turf. Receive strength and grace to do that in Jesus' name. Then I saw a hat. Somebody was putting on a hat and I was wearing and I was saying, well, you know, what is this? And the Lord reminded me of the scripture where it says, put on the garment of humility. So there's a garment of humility, which is protection, but also there's a hat of wisdom. There's a hat of divine wisdom and divine understanding. Jesus walked in great wisdom. He walked with an understanding of who he was in the time or the season that he was. So there was a time they wanted to make him king and Jesus withdrew from the crowd because he knew what was in their heart to do. So the wisdom of God be upon you in Jesus name. Just receive a heart of wisdom, a heart of wisdom, a heart of wisdom. I, I see I see great advance coming to somebody and with that great advance, you need not just the cloak of humility, you need the heart of wisdom. So just reach out, reach out your hand to Father. Say, Father God, I receive from you the hat of wisdom that you have for me as part of my clothing as I go into April and the second quarter of 2023 in Jesus name put the hat on pray in the Holy Ghost you have wisdom you have wisdom to prevail you have wisdom to succeed and stay successful in Jesus name then the Lord was reiterating wisdom and it was reminding me of the children of uh, the, the, Daniel um, Daniel and his companions who God gave to them an excellent spirit, a excellent spirit, wisdom, insight, understanding. He gave it to them. May he give that to you also. But note that with Daniel, it was a reward for his denying himself certain pleasures. So he had chose to abstain from the king's delicacies, from the king's wine. And as a reward of his pursuit of purity, God promoted him. God gave them great wisdom, great, great understanding. And so the Lord is inviting you, he's going to be inviting many people in the month of April to hold back on something which is rightfully yours to hold back on um, on on it could be a food it could be any it could be anything he's asking you to deny yourself and as you deny yourself know that god has a reward in his mind that's why he's sending spirit to you say to you deny yourself of this because he has a reward in terms of wisdom and grace for you hear the call in jesus wonderful name amen then lastly, this scripture came to my heart again. Uh, the far, um, every good and perfect gift is from the Father of lights, in whom there is no variable loss, nor shadow of turning. And the Lord said, he has promised, he will bring it to pass. What he has said, he will surely do it. He said, I'm not a man that lies or the son of man that, that repents, but what I've said and spoken of your life, I will perform it and I will bring it to pass. Keep trusting me. I am the father of lights in whom there is no variableness, nor shadow of turning. Receive your good gift for April, says the word of the Lord in Jesus name. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. So if you're watching this before uh, six o'clock on uh, Friday, the 31st of March, I want to 
encourage you to join us for an hour's intercession between 6 and 7, you know, over Zoom. But also remember remember my invitation. Join us if you're blessed by these broadcasts. Join us 12 noon, um, 12 noon uh, UK time, 12 noon UK time for 15 minutes Tuesday through to Friday in Jesus' name. Father, I commit your sons and your daughters to your hands. Protect them, guard them, guide them, bless them, deliver them from harm and from evil, and let the end of the month come with great shouts of rejoice in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in.